Summer may be officially coming to an end, but ant invasions and pest problems may not just fall away. Corky Miser of Corky's Pest Control joins us to explain how we can tell pests to get out of here. I love your famous catchphrase there, Corky. Uh, I, I know um, we've had an ant invasion at my house. My coworkers have as well, as along with a lot of our viewers here. So what is going on with all the ants in San Diego right now? Well, it's been so hot outside that they want to get in for water. You know, they their bodies evaporate just like ours evaporates. And so as they as it gets hotter and hotter and, and gets further into the soil, then the ants need water and they can't get it from the landscape anymore because it dries up so fast after the sprinkler system comes on, then it dries up within 10 minutes or so, and you have no way for them to get water. So the closest way is in the house. The trap's at the bottom of your sinks, you know, in your bathroom, right. your uh, kitchen, laundry room. They come in for that. What's, what's, uh, let's walk through different stages of, your, of people's ant issues here. If you just have a few that are in the kitchen, you know, what's, what are some of the options for the people that just have a few? And then we'll get to the, the, the more larger scale issues. But if you just have a, you know, a little line of ants, you know, what's the best thing people can do about that? Well, they all have an odor trail that comes in to, and they follow that odor trail. That's why they're in lines usually as they come in and get into your sinks and every place. And what you have to do is wipe up that odor trail. And water doesn't usually do it. You have to put something that has another odor in it. You know, it's like, uh, what was the one in the, my big fat Greek wedding that they always touted? So any, anything that's got an odor in it that you can wipe it up, any kind of cleaner that you can wipe up that odor so they can't find it, then they have to reestablish their trail. So it takes care of them for a little while. But you got to go outside and find where they're, because most of the ants live outside. They don't live inside. Sure, sure. Now, they'll establish a colony inside, so it's easy for them to transport the water back out. But generally speaking, they, their colony that they're feeding the water to is on the outside someplace. Find that and kill them, and you'll stop them. Okay, so maybe spray the perimeter of your house. Okay, if someone, if someone does come across the big colony in their kitchen, let's say, and they're just going everywhere, I mean, we didn't have it that bad at my house, but um, we still see them kind of coming, you know, here and there. This morning, I was reaching for my coffee, and there was one on the coffee pot. Uh, so it was the first thing I saw this morning. But uh, w w if someone's got a medium to large problem, I mean, they can always ca call in the pros, I imagine. Well, yes, because we have the products that we can go in and spray. We know where they are. You know, that's the problem with homeowners is they don't really understand where the ants probably are in the kitchen. You have to find out where they're living so that you can get to them. The, the problem is, is that when homeowners do it, the colony split on the inside. And so you might only have one colony in your house, but you go in and you try to kill them with products that you can buy and use. And generally speaking, they'll split into about 10 different colonies all the way through the house and it just gets worse. Oh, interesting. Uh, so we've touched on ants a little bit. Any other pest problems that you've, uh, you've been talking about? I know that there was earlier on in the summer, there was talk of an increase in rats around San Diego. Has, has that been the experience so far? Sure, and it hasn't gone away either. The rat problem is getting worse and worse year by year by year as, the, as it gets warmer. You know, you, you go through times where you have there are times where it gets colder for a while, then it gets warmer for a while. And we haven't had a really good freeze in about 10 years now at, at night. And a lot of times that freeze will kill the babies off and it'll kind of balance out the population for a little while. But uh, we haven't had that so that they've just exploded in population because one female rat has a new litter like every, between every 30 and 35 days. Interesting. And you know, then they'll have like five to seven babies and then those babies will grow up and within 60 days, that female rat that's born is able to bear a, a, a litter herself. Wow. So it's just, it's a real explosion right now. Yeah, yeah. What about, um, you know, mosquitoes? Uh, should we be making sure we, we get the bug spray on the kiddos and ourselves before we head out to the parks? Well, you either have a mosquito problem or you don't, and the parks a lot of times do, but you, you don't experience it. We've got such a great department here, you know, abatement department here in San Diego that we generally don't end up with as bad of mosquito problems as there are a lot of other parts of the country. So uh, mosquitoes, you can really do mosquitoes really well. You know, those citronella torches that you get, if you, can, if you can spray and get rid of the mosquitoes and then put the citronella torches up, only when you're gonna have a party or something in the backyard, they're not just for everyday use, but you put them up 
the citronella doesn't kill the mosquitoes, but what the citronella does is it blocks the odor from traveling down. Mosquitoes travel, fly up wind, so, and the drift of the citronella drifts downwind, so you block the, your, your carbon dioxide coming out so they can't find you. Gotcha. That's really what the deal is. And then people put their citronella candles on top of the table where they really belong is under the table because it's your ankles that they're going to always bite you on. You know, so. Sure, makes sense. Corky, thanks so much for your time here. Corky's, uh, Corky's Pest.com. If you're looking for the pros to come in and help you out, thanks for those tips this morning. I know a lot of people sure appreciate that. Okay, Eric, you have a great day. Thanks, Corky.